Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how you can create a first Android application. So let's start. Let's start on this link. Select the empty activity. Click on finish. Give the name my first app. Change the package name if you want. So I'm changing it. give the location where you want to save the project so i'm giving in this folder choose the language i'm choosing kotlin and uh, minimum sdk which is going to be support so let's finish let's create so it's loading some dependencies now once that is done and all the dependencies are downloaded we will start So this is our main activity, it is still thinking. Still thinking. So let's wait for some time. So this is our manifest file and our main activity is our launcher that is the main entry point. This is our layout file. So it is showing some errors because it is still in a sync. Alright, now it's done. So let's open this main activity. This is our main activity. Let's go to the layout. So now all the errors has gone. This is our manifest. It is also not showing any error this is the launcher activity and this is the main for our application as an entry point for our first application so in last video we show the hello world and just print on a first application let's see it again it's launching an emulator okay so Taking some time as it's the first time we are loading today. Come on. Taking more than expected. Let's wait for some time. Yeah, it's build now. And it's launching. Yep, it's launched. And as we designed the in my last video, so this was showing the hello world. Let's start with the login screen and the so let's move to the design. Let's delete this hello world so that we can add our own layout. So we are going to add some username, password and a button. So let's drag a edit text. So the text to you. And set its constraint from so from top, from start, from end. We don't need an AND constraint actually because we want to keep it in the left side. Let's give some margin from the top, margin from the left and we give its name uh, like username and its ID. This is very important. We need to give each UI component as a unique ID. Let's drag our edit text. This is basically the input text. Let's make it a full screen. Right, little bit. And now we need to set its constraint from right, from left, from top. We don't need a bottom constraint as of, at this point of time. Let's give some margin from the left. 
and write the same margin and from top as well and we don't need any text inside it for now because user will enter let's give the unique id let's drag another another label make it a little wide and set its constraint from left from top and give its margin from top from the left and we need to give a name as password and it's a unique id Let's drag another input box for the password. Make it a wide little bit. We need to show it as a full screen and set its constraint. It's gonna be below this password label from left, from right. Now we need to give the margin from top, margin from left, margin from right. And give a unique ID. And remove this text. We don't need it. Okay, we are good to go. Now let's put a button. Here we are going to set its uh, constraint as well from right, left, bottom, and top. So this is going to be in the center of the screen because from each side we have set the constraint. Now give it ID and its name as login. don't need it because it's already in the center of the screen okay I think we are good to go let's see how it look like to run on the simulator yeah it's loading now Fantastic. This is what we are expecting. So let's see if it's taking some input. Very nice. Let's try to click on this button. So currently we don't have anything on the button click, so we need to handle it. So let's go to the main activity, our main activity, and handle the button click so our button id let's see what id we gave there not recognizing i think we made some mistake let's see in our layout button okay copy this id yeah, we made a mistake here. All right, copy it, paste it. Okay, now it's able to recognize. Dot. Set on click listening. This one. And here we want to read the value from the input box. So well, username. The ID, the unique ID we gave there, right? So we need to pass it the text. So 
so here we are in this variable is going to hold the user id now similarly password the pass id for password input box dot text so kotlin made our life easy we don't need to write lot of code now we are going to show this on the toast what values we have input on the uh, text boxes dollars curly bracket inside the variable name comma toast dot length so this is how we display our toast on the bottom of the screen for sure let's run this and see how it looks like Loading. Let's enter some text inside. Learning wall. And click on login button. So on bottom you see what I entered, you can see there. Fantastic. This is what we are expecting. Let's try to enter some other text and see if that reflect on the toast. Fantastic. So currently look like the name of the app is not good so let's go to the resource values and string.xml file let's change you can change the application name here so i'm going to put some space and make it a good looking name my first app let's run it and see if it got changed there you go fantastic so this is what we are expecting let's check one more time learning world login we are seeing our desired result on the toast so yes let's Let's add some validation on it now. So you see if text util dot is empty and the text username and we are going to show the as message on toast. So let's copy it. Yes. else if if password is empty then we need to show this message let's change it and if both are entered then we are going to show what we are showing now so it's going to be in the else case. Good. Let's run this application and see.
building still yep yeah there you go so let's click on login button and see what happened okay so this is what we are expecting let's enter something in the username field and see okay fantastic so now it is asking to enter in the password and if we entered both then it's showing both the values here so this is the else case here that we handle fantastic so that's all for today's video in next video i'm going to show how we can show the inline error messages and uh, we'll show how you can navigate from one activity to another activity and guys if you like my video then please share like subscribe and if you have any question then comment you can ask me any question in your comment so i'll reply you as my best thank you so much for watching this video thank you